The Trojan offense looks sharp on its very first play, but the drive stalled, and Oklahoma promptly went on a 92-yard march. Play action for White, throws in the end zone, and it is caught, a touchdown, Oklahoma, Travis Wilson, his 10th touchdown catch of the year, and the Sooners take the lead in the national championship game. Matt Leinart responded by leading the Trojans into Oklahoma territory. Liner drops the pass, being chased, rolls left, rushed from behind, throws over the middle. It is caught beautifully out at the 50. Steve Smith hangs on to the ball. First third down, Liner's is looking for me, and he uh, basically slings it in there, and I just, you know, go make the tough grab going across the middle. I think that kind of propelled us for the whole game, really, just to grab the momentum. And in a season of highlight plays, Dominique Bird soared into Trojan lore. Rolling away from the pressure as Liner throws, looking for Dominique Bird in the end zone. He makes a one-handed catch. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, USC! What a catch by Dominique Bird! You see the catch that Dominique made. You know, you know that that was a great play. It was a great play. Uh, it was what, what you, you know. You see, the guys got to make plays. He did. You know, Matthew Ball was behind him. Uh, the design of the play was great, but we were a little late getting the ball out, so we had to move to do it. And then he makes a great, great play to make a catch like that under the circumstances. What started was a blitz of points, reminiscent of the 1974 USC Notre Dame game. January 4th, 2005, became a date for the ages. The kick is away, and it's off the side of Malone's foot. Bounces, takes a Trojan hop down inside the five, rolls to the four, and picked up there. Come on, the Trojans are going to get the ball. I think. mistake. Hand off to White. He runs into the line at the five. He's down towards the one. He's down towards the goal line. He is in the end zone. Touchdown USC. The Trojans take the lead. We broke off their turnovers, which, you know, that was the story of the game. Whoever's going to turn the ball over was, was not going to win. I mean, that's how it is really in any game. The Trojan defensive line was getting to the Sooners, Jason White, forcing him into poor throws. Looking downfield down the middle, got Brandon Jones, just lobs one up to nobody in particular, and it is intercepted at the 11-yard line. A horrible decision by Jason White, and the Trojans pick it off, and it's Jason Leach with another interception for USC and turnover number two for Oklahoma. What was White thinking? Liner then went to work on the Sooner secondary. Liner throws a little fade. Jarrett up in the air, makes the catch, comes down with the football. Yes, sir. We hit him on a, a little fade route, you know, and, and used him a little bit there, and then, and then uh, went right back after him again to see if we could just get it. Play action for Liner, looking long downfield for Jarrett again. He's wide open, makes the catch at the 10. He's in the end zone. Touchdown, USA. In the corner, he, he went up on a blitz, and, you know, I ran right past the safety. And, you know, Matt read that. And, you know, he just threw it up where I get it, and you know, I just made the play. Up 21 to 7, the Trojan D didn't let up. White takes it the shotgun on third and 14, being rushed. Throws as he's hit, it's intercepted. Taken by the Trojans, Eric right at the 25. He's down inside the 20 to the 15, and tackled at the 10 yard line. It took Leinert only three plays to put SC up by three touchdowns. Bush comes in short motion this way. Throw over the middle. Smith makes the catch in the end zone. A great catch on a reverse pass. It was behind him a little bit. Well, when Stevie made his play, there was just no doubt. I mean, it was just, this was going to be the night. You know, and things were going to happen and we were rolling. And, and uh, the great players make great plays. And that's, that's how it usually works. And, and uh, it was really exciting to see them come through with those opportunities. Later in the quarter, Leinert looked for Smith again. Bush comes in motion to this press box side. Leinert drops to pass. Waiting. Has time. Oh, throwing for Smith in the end zone. It is caught. Touchdown, USC! Just trying to run my routes, you know, as hard and as uh, deep as deep as I could, you know, just do it all the little things right. They're going to, you know, take us to that victory. The Trojans tacked on a last minute field goal to make the halftime score 38 to 10. USC was only 30 minutes of football away from making history.
ain't never been won in the first half. Can you win it in the first quarter? No. Can you win it in the second? No. Can you win it in the third? No. Can you win it in the fourth? No. Yeah. That's what we're gonna let's do. Let's go, baby. Let's, let's go. go. Let's 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 go. The Trojans kept rolling. Bush goes in motion. Three receivers left. Throw over the middle. Steve Smith, same play, same result. Touchdown, USC. National championship, USC. Leinert's fifth touchdown pass set an Orange Bowl record. Really, it was just a matter of us making plays. Steve Smith made some great catches. Dominic Bird made a fantastic catch the first touchdown. And, and the offensive line gave me all day to throw, and we ran the ball well. It was just, it was just one of those things where we were just on fire. Meanwhile, the Trojan defense had shut down the powerful Sooner offense, limiting Jason White's effectiveness and holding freshman sensation Adrian Peterson in check. Once I think you know Coach Carroll, you know, find out what they were trying to do and, and, and really, you know, establish our defense, you know, we knew in the end that, you know, it was going to come down to Peterson winning the ball and that's, you know, we wanted to stop, you know. We knew Jason White could hurt us, but Peterson could hurt, him, hurt us much more. Our top priority, especially at the back end, was to keep everybody in front of you. Don't let them beat us deep. Make them try to inch their way down the field and see if they have enough patience to do it. And basically, it, it worked out pretty well. Bush was kept out of the end zone for only the third time all season. But the All-American performer did contribute 149 all-purpose yards. One of the things I remember uh, with Coach Carroll, I remember saying, you know, that uh, you know, if we just stay within our system and do the things that I've gotten us this far, you know, they'll just be another team in a white jersey. And uh, I, that stuck in my mind throughout the whole game. Tailback Lindell White had been limited in practice due to a severe ankle injury, but he returned with a vengeance. First time I got the carry, and I felt, I felt how physically stronger that my whole team was compared to those guys. And I knew the kind of the impact we were going to have. The running game was going to be a force that day. And our offensive line was great. They felt like they were the start. They kept coming to the head and they were telling me, man, we, we did what we want to these guys. And, and once I heard that from them guys, and it gave me all the, all the confidence in the world that I needed. And it felt like every time I got the ball, the hole was, it was a gaping hole for me to just run through. White finished the game with 118 yards rushing and two touchdowns. By the fourth quarter, the game's outcome was not in doubt, and the Trojans started to celebrate. 